I can learn, I can do this, but I am limited. The Lord is nigh them that call upon him. Humility. Number two, very quickly, is someone learning? What is the second key to accessing the leadings and the guidance of God? Pray earnestly for divine direction. Pray earnestly for divine direction. Listen, when it has to do with direction, it is a risk to assume. The devil can open a door for you that you will think it is God. I've taught you even the prison has a door. Before you enter the prison, a door must be open. So just because a door is open, you need to verify where that door is going. There are some doors that are going into prison. Pray earnestly for divine direction. First Samuel chapter 30 and verse 8. First Samuel 30 and verse 8. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? I hope you know the man who is speaking was a warrior. Already had the arsenals to bring victory. But he said, no assumption. Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And the Lord answered him, pursue. For thou shalt surely overtake them. And without fail, recover. It is powerful when you are running with a sure word. You don't see challenges on your way. Because you know that God, listen, it is vain it to wake up in the morning. Is that in your Bible? And to sleep late in the night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow. Just because you have money does not mean you should start business. No. The presence of capital is not a green light to start. No. We make all kinds of flimsy mistakes and we keep repeating it. That's why God has sent you to the house of God. Can I tell you? when you are physically prepared you stand the risk of making more mistakes because all the factors are there chances are excellent you will not respect the excellency of his voice shall i pursue shall i overtake and the lord says since you paid attention to my leadings go ahead and pursue you shall surely overtake and without fail recover all you must pray Honestly, for divine direction and there are two ways you hear from God in prayer write it down please number one through the light from scripture so that will be 2a light from scripture this is the first way God speaks to men in the place of prayer Psalm 119 I believe verse 105 please give it to us thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path so God speaks to you by giving you light from scripture. Is someone learning now? Light from scripture. In the place of prayer, serious prayer, not prayer and browsing. Not prayer and watching movie. You are just watching the parts you don't like. You quickly pray while you are waiting. No, no. I mean heartfelt prayer. When your spirit man is attuned, pay attention to the scriptures that come. Sometimes they can be scriptures ordinarily you would not have remembered. You see that? But it just jumps up from the spirit. It's a time to write it down. What could God be saying? God speaks to us when we pray through the light that comes from scripture. And then number two, he speaks to us through the voice of his spirit. Isaiah 30, 21. I hope you know God speaks to men. Yes, he does. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left, you shall hear a voice. In John 16 and verse 13, please give us John 16 and verse 13. Jesus was teaching and he said, How be it when he, the spirit of truth is come. The Bible says he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. So the Holy Spirit speaks. He speaks. He guides. The Bible says the, the spirit speaketh expressly. Pay attention to the speakings of God. 
when you pray most times when you hear God and is not in the place of prayer the margin of error is very very wide let me tell you because you see the 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 haziness that comes from the daily activities chances are excellent that what you thought you heard may not have been God